I wasn't really planning on filming this episode, but decided to do it anyways, just to um, talk a little bit briefly about the subject of why I bothered to install like this uh, HDTV with streaming capabilities um, in Little Blue 2. Somebody was um, commenting on my initial test where I was out at the compound, which is like really remote. And it was uh, even amazing for me that I was picking up channels out there without doing anything special with the antenna, which I could, you know, mount and, and um, swivel and things like that to make it actually pick up more channels. But they were essentially commenting that installing a, a TV in your van um, is pretty much useless. Well, it depends on where you are. Um, if you're doing urban stealth camping, then you could pretty much pick up all the channels that people pick up in their houses. So it's like a normal channel, normal TV type situation. Or if you have Roku, which I've installed here and mounted up here, it's not really mounted, it's just more like uh, sitting there, you know. Um, and I did that to try to raise it up high so it would have like um, the best chance at re reception for picking up um, Wi-Fi signal. But when you have this kind of setup here, what you're opening up yourself to is that you can stream anything. Like right now, I'm not paying for cable or, or any of those services, but I can watch YouTube. I'll show you how this is set up right now. Let me go to the, um, the network settings. Check it up closer here so you can see what's actually happening here. We're going to go to settings. And go over to network and go to setup connection. Wireless. Actually, I think it lost connection, so we're going to try it again. It had the connection here. I'm going to try to connect to cable Wi-Fi, even though the signal's like just dropped out of Bright House. And this is free because my um, my girlfriend, my former girlfriend, is letting me use her login. It used to be like a shared account. Um, when you have like the cable services and stuff like that, it gives you like one or two mobile, you know, accounts that you can use when you're like not at the house, which is what I'm using right now. But it'll let me log into like uh, cable Wi-Fi, Spectrum, Bright House, and, or even if that's not available, I could log into like McDonald's or Wawa, which is totally free. So if I'm close enough to the facility, which right now, I'm, like actually that's like McDonald's over there. There's a bank over here. Um, where I am right now, Planet Fitness is down there at the other end. I basically at an area where there's a lot of Wi-Fi, so the chance of me picking up a service I can use is uh, fairly fairly good. So I'm going to try to connect. So it's checking the, the connection. It did see it, but it's a weak signal. I may have to move to a different location or move the Roku unit around to try to get better reception. I am contemplating um, using my um, cheap, you know, salad bowl Wi-Fi extender to see if that will help improve the signal to the point where... I can actually set it up and, and watch it. Like right now it's not connecting, so I may not be able to demonstrate the, the Roku, which a while ago it was connected, but you know, Wi-Fi cuts in and out. So let me try again. Let me scan the networks and see what it actually sees. And truly in, in a, um, see like right now, it doesn't see all the other signals. So it saw the McDonald's, which I think I tried to connect there. It sees some of the others. I am gonna try to connect to, um, let's try to connect to um, Bright House. See, it says, I, okay, see, I tried to connect. It says, I am at a hotel or college dorm where I am at home. Well, even though I'm at home, which is the van here, it, um, as far as the system's concerned, I'm at a college hotel or dorm. And so when I, I use the remote here and click that, it tells me to use my smartphone to log in. So I have to go to the smartphone, which I'm using right now to film. But I would go to the smartphone and go to the um, wireless setup, you know, the wireless thing where you go to setup, and look on there for where it says Direct Roku 184F14554. Then when I click that, I enter the password that they gave me, 29181265. Then it'll direct me to the page for um, Bright House or Spectrum or whatever to log in. And in this case, I just log in with the account name that I have and then this system will remember it. And anytime I want to connect to Bright House, um, when I have the connection available, I connect to it and it's just like being at home. I can basically stream any um, service that I, you know, would normally subscribe to or have access to for free, like Pluto TV, which I demonstrated, um, YouTube, 
Um, there's a lot of free stuff out there. AMC, you can watch some of their channels. Anything that you can do um, at home, you can now do in the van, basically, is what this allows. And, you know, I set this up even though, honestly, if you've been following this channel at all, you'll know that I'm usually generally very active. I'm usually outside exploring and doing things. I'm not actually one to sit around and watch TV all day long. But I decided to hook it up just to show people that it can be done. It can be done affordably. And, you know, when I have my kids with me in the van, this is something that they can use to watch TV. And I'm going to be installing a DVD player as well as uh, maybe a video game system so they can sit and play video games, you know, while they're in the van. Uh, and that can be done while I'm actually driving and traveling. And they can also watch movies. Um, for me, you know, it gives me the ability to come lay down at night or even during the daytime, like right now because I'm not working. I can actually just lay here and um, chill and just watch TV. I'm not even too concerned about being stealth or anything, although from the outside, a little Bluetooth looks like a normal looking van. Um, and I don't know if anyone really sees me in here because, you know, the windows are tinted. So I'm just laying here and getting ready to uh, watch some YouTube videos to catch up on some episodes of um, channels that I follow and watch and also to try to get some work done. Um, and that's what this is all about. So I hope that clarifies why I would bother to install like a TV. It's, um, I think if you're installing everything brand new, I would buy a TV that has, um, that's already a smart TV, that has Roku and all these things built into it because then you don't have to deal with that secondary device. But the reason I did this this way was, you know, the TV for me was only $9, and I already had the Roku, so that was free. So $9, I'm up, you know, other than um, mounting, which was the most expensive part, it was $20. And then I think another $20 for the antenna. So under $50, like about $50, I got the whole system up, and it just makes the van a lot more um, comfortable as far as uh, things to do. If you're not outside, I can just lay here and watch TV. Right now, I'm, I was trying to set up. I'm not going to bother setting up because I have to access that log on from the phone. And the phone's being used as a camera right now to film. So I'm going to show you how I can actually watch TV and see what kind of channels I can pick up. On the um, the other thing where I indi you know, demonstrated it, it was out in the, the compound, which is like out in a very remote area. And obviously it didn't pick up anything. But right now, you can see I'm in a city and channels will come in. Like right now, this is Ion Life which has like cooking shows, um, I think it has like home improvement shows. They, they run a lot of stuff from syndication, from like HGTV and other channels, you know, that, are, that produce all these episodes. And then after they air on those channels, they sell them out for syndication and channels like Ion and Ion Life and some of the other channels purchase these to run them. And you know, they make money by running ads on these things. So this is not, this is not streaming, this is actually um, over the air TV. So this channel that I picked up here, and normally when you go to a location, you want to program the TV to scan for channels. I'm not going to bother doing that, even though I could possibly pick up more channels from where I am right here at this spot. Um, I'm just keeping the channels that it found when I was, um, you know, at, at the other location where I normally stay all the time, or most of the time. And the reason is, those are the channels that I would watch, have access to from that location. This particular location that I'm at right here, Right here, right here. Um, I'm not here very often. I'm here every so often. And all I have to do is pick up, you know, like this channel I do watch sometimes. I don't watch this cooking stuff. But let me see another channel here. This is uh, the shopping channel. Oh, nice comfortable bed. Uh, QVC here, another shopping channel. Some jewelry. The Home Shopping Network, which is another shopping channel. And... Um, I don't know what this channel is. It has a channel. It didn't pick it up, so the antenna's not picking up. And by the way, I just mounted the, the antenna just behind this drawer unit. I didn't even bother trying to give it the best reception. There's a channel that says it has movies, and it doesn't pick up over here. H&I had some cool shows on it. I saw it previously. It was running, like, um, um, shows that used to be on ABC, NBC, and stuff, but they're in syndication. And Buzzer has, like, game shows, although a lot of them aren't picking up at this location. I think WRDQ or whatever is a, a regular channel. Well, actually, this location doesn't have a lot of channels at all, so maybe not the best demonstration location for um, showing TV that you can pick up. But you'll see there's, um, right now, the, the TV 
has um, about, I think about 48 channels that it, it said it picked up at the other location. But where I am right now at this particular location, it doesn't seem to be picking up much at all. So maybe not the best location to, to demonstrate. But at least it gets Ion, which is, um, Ion is a pretty good channel. And like right now, I don't know, this seems to be one of those, um, it looks like Tom Selleck on there. It used to be one of those um, shows that used to run, you know, like on ABC, NBC or whatever, or even A&E, Discovery, and, and others. That's what else. And Cubo, of course. And I on Life. So, what you pick up depends on your location, you know, and you have to program the TV just like you would if you moved in, you know, had it in your house. You have to have it scan and look for the channels that it picks up. And, um... I can reprogram it. It might actually pick up different channels at this location, but I'm not going to bother. I just I left the TV programmed with the channels at my normal parking location because that's where, you know, those are the channels I normally would pick up over there. So I don't want to have to reprogram it each time. I hope that clarifies the situation for those of you who are wondering what this is all about and why I would bother to do that. The other significant part that you haven't seen with this uh, TV is it has a VGA hookup. So I can actually hook up my laptop to it, and now I've got a nice 19-inch uh, um, computer monitor ready to, to work from. So if I want to do some work from the van, even in a remote field, I can do that. And even with the, um, the streaming, let me get back to the streaming here. I can't do it right now because um, my camera that I'm using right now is the phone, and the phone has internet access. So I can actually, from here, when I'm um, in this menu mode here, I can actually s set my phone to do, um, become a Wi-Fi hotspot. Okay, like right now it says it's picking up the cable Wi-Fi because the signal got strong again. So I should, I could be, I could demonstrate right now YouTube and stuff. Let's try to get into YouTube. So... I can get this. This is absolutely free for me. I'm not using any phone data, but I could actually set my phone as a Wi-Fi hotspot. And when I do that, I can um, basically access. Well, these are some channels that are showing up automatically here, um, based on you know they kind of show stuff that you watch, and um, all sorts of um, gadgets and stuff shows that, that show up. Let me look for. Okay, living in a van and 8-bit guy. Those are the two things I searched for. And here's an episode I just put up about the Argentine um, snack that the children and I just tried out that my wife brought back from um, Argentina. So you can see my ads are running right now. The ads, you know, for those of you who don't know, the ads aren't actually based on random. They're actually based on your, your profile, your viewing profile. Google, YouTube, and then they kind of track everything you watch and do. And they try to show ads that may be relatable to you. And in this case, I guess they think I have arthritis or something. <laughs> Which actually, I do have some issues right now. So, uh, they try to gear the ads towards, um, towards the, the viewer. So, not everyone sees the same ads. You know, they, they look at the content and they also look at the viewer profile to figure out what they want to run. But this is one of the ads that apparently is running for me. And it's showing up on my own channel. So I'm letting it run through so I can actually earn my point zero 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 two cents or whatever on it. You know, um, and I recommend doing that if, if you're a, a viewer of YouTube on the channels that you really enjoy. Because the reason they monetized it is because they're, you know, they're wanting some money for their efforts. And when you let their ad run through like that, they get paid. So here you can see that's um, the Argentine candy and the quality is like... You know, good, because the connection's good. And this is a free connection, so I'm not even having to go through my phone. I'm actually uh, just um, basically streaming it as if I was sitting at the house, except um, I'm not at a house. Well, I am. I'm in my van house. You know, and I actually have, I have a fan here blowing on me this way. It's 91 degrees in the van right now. <laughs> I have a fan going this way. And if I really wanted to, which I might, I can pop that door open. I don't even care if people see me in here right now. It's the daytime. They don't really don't care. There's nothing. I'm not doing anything illegal just sitting here parked. You know, it's laying out here. So even the police would pretty much leave me alone. They might come ask what I'm doing. i say, I'm just chilling. And then they'll look and say, hey, look, I'm, I'm chilling and watching uh, TV here. 
yeah, that's me on the TV. So, um, you know, basically just chilling, which, which is what I'm doing right now. Anyhow, I hope that you found this information useful and some clarification on why I would bother to install this and why some people might, might want TV. For a lot of people who go into van dwelling and stuff like that, you know, I think TV is not that important. Um, you know, this kind of nomadic life or, um, tends to be more active. You tend to get out in nature a lot more, do hiking, you know, uh, camping and, and fishing and things like that, uh, kayaking, surfboarding, whatever, whatever you do that requires you to be off grid and out in remote areas. So I know, you know, the, the, the majority of the people who watch this kind of stuff aren't really too much into TV and that's okay. But having the capability to, to access TV and stream internet and stuff like that, even when you're in the middle of nowhere is I think an excellent capability to have. And that's why I bothered to go ahead and show people how to do it. So until next time, everyone, I hope you're all staying safe, uh, enjoying where you are, and um, want you each to know that I'm thinking of each and every one of you and, and praying for you. Take care now.